you must have seen these overhead tanks in your locality what is this this is overhead tank all right so why these are used these are used to store water what is stored here water is stored there and it has got some position it has got some position water has reached some position it has reached some height due to this height water gets some energy all right we'll see that now look at this situation here now here uh, the water is at certain height look at this it is at certain height and from that certain height water is falling down all right don't you think this falling water has energy definitely this falling water will be having some energy so you can set up a turbine here you can set up a turbine what is the meaning of turbine that is a rotating part all right and you can generate electricity also all right so this water at some height has some energy all right that energy itself is known as a potential energy that energy due to the position the energy due to position of a body is called as potential energy that is first part of potential energy let us see some of other examples look at this i mean uh, the uh, the ball has gone to this height means i mean some height from the earth surface it has reached a certain height right look at this the height h all right then it must have got some energy that energy itself is known as potential energy and the symbol for potential energy is u now whenever he pushes the ball that potential energy is converted into kinetic energy already we have studied about kinetic energy kinetic energy is equal to what is the formula half mv square if you haven't watched that video go back to second video watch it and come back to this video so that you understand it in a better way all right moving forward uh, let us see some other examples uh, look at this spring this spring is there in static condition right now it is there in static condition right now and uh, whenever uh, you are i mean uh, compressing it you understand the meaning of compressing right i mean you are uh, pushing it from both the sides all right so what happened here uh, now i mean it got compressed and don't you think it got some energy definitely there will be some energy into it so what is that that is only potential energy look at this when compressed or stretched a spring gains elastic potential energy definitely there are so many types of potential energy but uh, due to this configuration look at the word one is position another word what i'm using here is uh, configuration look at this word configuration uh, because this spring has got this configuration like this it is pressed you know, from both the sides that's why it, it gets some energy and it bounces back and look at this i mean it is stretched here from this point it is stretched from here and it is stretched here also don't you think it will get some energy here it will gain some energy when you leave it it will come back to the same position it will come back to this static position only this position is there it will regain so definitely there must be some energy inside that all right and uh, let us have a look at this uh, this example here there are some stones here look at this stones are there and they are at certain height so due to that they will get some energy that is known as potential energy definitely there is a name for that that is gravitational potential energy gpe gravitational potential energy will come to that now look at this this spring is pushed means uh, i mean definitely it is going to come back so it is also having some potential energy what is the name for that that is elastic potential energy due to the configuration it is getting no elastic potential energy now uh, look at this i mean here uh, this man uh, he is uh, i mean uh, what he is trying to do he is stretching the string right look at this string so whatever this string is there that string is getting stretched and uh, definitely it is also having some energy so that is potential energy for sure but which potential energy that is elastic potential energy all right so due to the configuration if any body is getting potential energy means that potential energy is known as what elastic potential energy all right if a body is getting energy due to position due to position if a body is getting energy means that is called as what a gravitational potential energy very very important i will give you the definition of both the things and potential energy definition also i will give you so due to the position if a body is getting any energy means that is gravitational potential energy if a body is getting the energy due to configuration means that is known as elastic potential energy all right so uh, what is this potential energy it is having a very simple definition the definition goes like this the energy gained by a body 
due to its position or configuration both the things configuration and position i have mentioned so that that is only called as potential energy what are the examples for this potential energy first one water in syntax water in syntax all right it has some energy that's why it comes down all right next uh, energy in stretched spring energy in stretched energy in stretched spring all right uh, next you can uh, write uh, energy in energy in stretched uh, stretched uh, i mean string you can say i mean string you know string means uh, that's like a thread stretched string in bow all right and why this energy is there this is due to position all right this is due to position that's why this is known as gravitational potential energy and how about this this is due to configuration okay this is not due to any position and all so due to the configuration the energy is coming that's why this is known as elastic potential energy all right fine then then moving forward look at this uh, what is this gravitational potential energy what is the concept of gravitational potential energy let us try to understand uh, and what is this elastic potential energy that also we'll try to see all right now look at this gravitational potential energy means i mean this gravitational potential energy we get due to position very very important we get this due to position first point and how about elastic potential energy it is due to configuration okay due to the configuration so whatever configuration is there due to that we are going to get the elastic potential energy now uh, one more thing i just want to bring it to your notice gravitational potential energy means for example this is the earth surface all right this is the earth surface and uh, you have taken any ball or any body to certain height okay certain height then it is going to get some potential energy that is represented with m uh, not m u okay so that uh, energy that potential energy due to this position is known as gravitational potential energy now how about this for example there is a spring here all right now if you stretch it what will happen if you are stretching it definitely the spring becomes little bit bigger all right and if you leave it and it is going to bounce back to its normal position that means this got some energy no that energy what it has got it is due to elasticity that's why it is known as elastic potential energy that is due to configuration all right i have given some example here so look at this boy this boy is standing at certain height now as the ball is there at certain height it has got potential energy that's what is gravitational potential energy due to the position now when he leaves the ball it is going to come down it is going to convert it into kinetic energy that's a different issue uh, but due to this position he uh, this ball has got the energy that's why gravitational potential energy and uh, second thing is uh, look at this uh, string this uh, string here so this is due to the configuration all right he has stretched it if he, he would have stretched it forward means it would not have gained any energy as he has stretched it backwards only so it has got energy and the arrow will be released in the forward direction all right so that is a major difference between gravitational potential energy and elastic potential energy this you are going to study in 9th standard as well as 11th standard okay both the things you are going to study but elastic potential energy you will study in 11th class only it is not there in 9th class so our discussion will be restricted uh, i mean it will be uh, to uh, only to gravitational potential energy all right fine then so uh, what is this formula for gravitational potential energy let us try to see this okay we'll give you the formula first then i will come to the derivation for example this is the earth surface this is the earth surface and you have taken a body of mass m okay a body of mass m was there you have taken it to certain height here all right uh, let me take this height to be h to height h you have taken then definitely this will gain some energy okay so that energy so that is potential energy is u and that is equal to mass of the body into acceleration due to uh, acceleration due to gravity and height so this is the formula u is equal to mgh u is equal to mgh is the formula for what it is the formula for gravitational potential energy i hope the formula is quite clear mass into acceleration due to gravity into height okay how it comes uh, we'll see that derivation of u equal to mgh we'll see the derivation also all right let us take uh, this is the ground surface okay 
this is the uh, ground surface and here there is a body of mass m okay you can show uh, however you want the body spherical also you can show okay so here is the body now don't you think this body is experiencing one downward force that downward force is mg so that is like weight you know about this weight is equal to mg now uh, if you want to take this body above for example okay you want to take it above means you have to apply certain force right so you have to apply some force now if you apply force which is less than mg means the body won't come above you have to at least apply the force which is equal to mg at least that much force you should apply so that the body comes above slowly all right if you are applying that much force so what will happen now now here is the ground level for sure okay there is no doubt in that uh, and now this body has raised here okay this body has come here why why this has come here because you have applied some force here all right so what is the force applied on the body the force applied on the body is mg and you have displaced it it has come to this point means so displacement is equal to let us take it as h all right try to understand what i am trying to say this body was here it was uh, i mean uh, adhering or uh, i mean it is uh, uh, i mean at the earth uh, due to its weight now if you are applying certain force uh, then definitely it is going to come above for height h all right and what should be the force the force should be minimum uh, i mean uh, minimum as in it must be at least equal to this weight of the body if more than that well and good the body will accelerate but at least it must it must be mg so that you can break this gravitational force and you can take it above all right now what is the formula for work done work done is equal to force into displacement now what is this force force is mg and what is this displacement displacement is h mgh we got so whatever work we are doing no so whatever work done is there no so that work done is converted work done is converted to potential energy that's it all right so that work done itself will become potential energy that's it so work done is u so that is like u is equal to this a formula u is w only so w means we got it as mgh so that's why this is the formula for uh, i mean gravitational potential energy look at this okay work done is equal to force into displacement force is a mg okay this force or this force uh, whichever you want you can take and displacement is h that is the uh, uh, i mean gravitational potential energy all right fine then uh, now relation between work done and potential energy just now i told you whatever work done is there no that work done itself will get converted into potential energy i told you all right in the spring also in the spring also whatever spring is there no now if you are pulling it means uh, what you are doing you are applying some force all right you are doing some work so whatever work you have done now the spring is elongated now that work itself has converted into elastic potential energy inside this all right so work and energy are interlinked with each other all right so what is the relation between work done and potential energy whatever work is done the same is converted into potential energy we know that all right now let us try to see that from other perspective now look at this here there is a body okay here there is a body of mass m and here it is the ground level all right here it is the ground level now what is the potential energy of this uh, uh, i mean body at, uh, at this point it is going to be zero no why because height is zero because it it uh, don't have uh, any height here so that's why potential energy is zero now if it is going above now it has went above the body has reached here the mass is going to remain same but height is h now it is going to have some potential energy u2 here so what is the formula for that that is like mgh look at this now if you if you want to understand the work means work done is equal to what is that final potential energy that is u2 minus initial potential energy that is u1 so it becomes what mgh minus 0 that is like mgh so work done is equal to what change in potential energy try to understand this here the potential energy was zero now here there is some potential energy now it has changed no from zero to mgh it has changed all right so that's what i have shown you here final potential energy you can write it as a uf also uf means final potential energy minus ui means uh, initial potential energy like this also you can write 
so that is going to be mgh let us take one more situation so that you understand it in a better way uh, for example this is the surface earth surface already there is a body here i mean which is having mass m now it is at a height of h1 for example it is at a height of h1 then what is its uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, potential energy here let me call it as u1 so u1 is equal to mgh1 now you have applied certain force and you have raised this body here and here also mass m is there now you have come to height h2 from here to here the height is like h2 so what is the potential energy here u2 is equal to it becomes a mg h2 all right are you understanding my point what i'm trying to say here so here the body was there its potential energy is mg h1 now you have done some work here okay you have applied certain force and you have done some work here and now the potential energy has become mgh2 that doesn't mean you have you have done this much work no already it was having some energy no so that's why work done is equal to what you have to take now you have to take final potential energy that is u2 minus initial potential energy that is u1 so it becomes what mgh2 minus mgh1 so you can take mg common then you can write it as h2 minus h1 also all right so this is a work done and uh, see, uh, i mean what is this work done so this work done is equal to this work done on any body is equal to change in potential energy we have seen it in kinetic energy also whatever work is done no so that work done is equal to change in kinetic energy also all right so work has three definition the first definition of work is force into displacement very clear so work done is equal to change in kinetic energy that is also there we have seen it in kinetic energy video and work done is equal to change in potential energy also so all these three definitions of work can be used interchangeably whenever we need it all right uh, fine then so moving forward uh, now what is this gravitational potential energy do not depend on the path taken okay whichever path you are taking it do not depend on that for example this is the ground level here is the ground level and here there is a body here okay now you take this body like this for example a state you took it took it to a height h all right now the same body you are taking this body like this for example in this path you have taken and you have reached here same height h only okay same height height is same h only but you have taken it in this path look at this path you have taken the body like this now when you consider both the bodies at the same height what is the potential energy of both the bodies same the formula is mgh here also mass m m so m and m is their mass is same means whichever path you are taking no based upon that the potential energy is not depending on the potential energy depends on potential energy depends on initial position and final position that's it initial position and final position only okay it do not depend on any path taken all right so let me give you one example here for example there is a mountain here okay uh, the mountain is like this for example all right here is the ground level now the mountain is like this now here one boy is climbing this mountain from this side and this boy is also climbing this mountain from this side all right now here there is a road very smooth road for example very smooth road all right now uh, here it is all rough road okay it's not that good now both of them are climbing both of them are reaching the same height right look at this same height they are reaching maybe this person will do more work if you uh, see that more work as in uh, i mean uh, he will have a lot of trouble uh, coming here no he will face a lot of troubles because this is a rough rough road and he will come very easily so uh, i mean uh, he will be doing less work but he will be doing more work but in physics when they reach here you are going to take the same potential energy both will be having same potential energy that is mgh all right so this is the concept which you need to understand whichever way he comes he wants to come this way or this way uh, in physics he is going to get uh, the same potential energy because it depends upon the initial position and the final position what is the height between initial position and final position that is like h all right uh, it's it's not about this distance i mean here uh, there was a, a road was not good i have done more work no uh, i mean we don't bother about those things in physics i hope 
the concept is quite clear uh, about this uh, gravitational potential energy do not depend on the path taken so it depends on initial position and final position all right fine then so moving forward to some of the questions let us uh, have a look at some of the questions so that our concept becomes quite clear a body of mass 10 kg mass is 10 kg all right is raised to a height of 5 meter height is 5 meter now they are asking us to find potential energy so potential energy equal to formula is a mgh what is m 10 kg what is g 10 what is h 5 so 10 into 10 100 100 into 5 500 so 500 joule energy is a joule right so potential energy is 500 joule that's it and definitely you must have done 500 joule of work also for example here is the surface now uh, here is the body of mass how many kgs 10 kgs you have taken it the body to a height of 5 meter it has gained some potential energy that is 500 joule that is for sure but uh, to get this potential energy of 500 joule you must have done a work of 500 joule for sure then only uh, i mean it has got energy no otherwise it would not have got the energy all right i hope the concept is clear through the numerical let us see the second numerical a boy of mass 50 kg mass is 50 kg all right mass is equal to 50 kg climbs a mountain of height 100 meter height is equal to 100 meter find the work done by the boy to climb the mountain what is the work done so work done is equal to energy gained okay how much work he will do that much energy he will gain that's it correct no so that is equal to mgh all right so that's why work done is equal to you can remove this u now because potential energy is mgh no we know that what is the value of m 50 what is g 10 what is h 100 so it becomes 5 0 0 another 2 0 so it becomes 50000 joule so that boy has worked uh, 50000 joule and definitely he must have got this much energy also when he reached the height and when he jumps i mean he should not jump now if he jumps means uh, he, he is not supposed to do any work now so as he has energy at the height immediately he can come all right fine then so moving forward to next question find the potential energy possessed by thousand liter of water in a tank placed at a height of 15 meter all right so thousand liter they are saying no so in physics usually we take one liter is equal to one kg okay one liter of water means one kg of water so thousand liter of water means the mass of the water is thousand kg all right and it is at a height of 15 meter height is 15 meter now they are asking about energy possessed by that energy means potential energy that is u equal to question mark u is equal to formula is mgh m is 1000 and g is 10 into h is 15 so we get it as a 15 1 2 3 zeros 4 zeros so that is like 1 lakh i'm sorry what is it all right so here it is 1 lakh uh, 50000 joule so 1 lakh 50000 joule of energy uh, the water has that's why it comes down all right uh, on the stand you are uh, putting a syntax here all right you are putting a syntax it has water this is the ground level all right on this also you have made a stand for this okay you have made a stand like this and you made this to uh, you you place the syntax there so that means so that it gets energy uh, and it, the water comes down without any work all right fine then so moving forward to next question a body of mass 10 kg is raised from a height of 10 meter to 20 meter okay it was there at 10 meter and it is raised to 25 meter now they are asking find the work done on the body so here the concept will come to our use uh, here is the ground level all right so already the body was at height of uh, 10 meter already it was at a height of 10 meter this is like h1 now it is raised to 25 meter look at this now uh, it has raised to 25 meter means here the height is 25 meter and it is like h2 okay this is h2 this bigger one is h2 and this smaller one whatever it is there it is h1 now they are asking from here to here how much work is done okay you know this concept right so work done is equal to uh, final potential energy minus uh, initial potential energy what is the final potential energy mgh2 
minus what is the initial potential energy mg h1 you can take mg common and in bracket it becomes a h2 minus a h1 what is m so mass of the body is a 10 kg all right 10 into g is 10 bracket h2 minus h1 is h2 is 25 and h1 is 10 so it becomes 10 into 10 100 and in bracket it is 15 so it becomes 15 then double zero 1500 joule so 1500 joule of work is done to raise this body of mass 10 kg from a height of 10 meter to 25 meter okay we have raised it for only 15 meter please remember so this difference is how much is this this is like 15 meter no for this much only we have done the work so that's what we have calculated all right fine then i hope the concept of uh, the potential energy is quite clear okay so in potential energy how many types are there one is gravitational potential energy another is a uh, elastic potential energy this will study in 11th class right now we are concentrating on this so u is equal to mgh and work done itself is equal to potential energy is equal to mgh you know about this also and afterwards work done is equal to change in potential energy you know this change in potential energy change in potential energy means final potential energy minus initial potential energy or you can also write it as a u2 minus u1 and we have done some numericals all right and this potential energy is due to position or configuration okay you know the example for position as well as configuration about this configuration will go will study in 11th class already about position gravitational potential energy i have covered all right then thank you very much uh, be happy till the next video comes and uh, keep on watching all these videos to understand all these concepts thank you very much uh, have a good day and bye bye